You know what time it is. You know what day it is. It is Thursday, 12-29. What am I watching? You bet. Is that someone? Was that my door? No one's at my door. Okay. You know what I'm watching at 12-30. Just turned 12-30. I am watching the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Hell yes, son. This shit rocks. I love watching the scripts. It makes me feel smart, and at times, it also makes me feel kind of dumb, because these kids are like 12 years old, and they're spelling words I've never even heard of in my life, and they're asking for the origin. Like, if I asked for the origin and it was French, that would not help me one bit, okay? I don't know. So, yeah, it makes me feel smart. When I get the word, if I get the word, very slim chance that I will, that's awesome. But then dumb is like, oh, really? This 12-year-old? This six? There's a six-year-old in this competition. She's spelling words. That it's just nuts. So I watched this. Cool. But one question: Why do they put scripts, the spelling bee, on ESPN? It's not sports. ESPN is a sport network. I mean, it's a competition. But there's spelling. I don't get it. Uh, someone let me know. I don't get it. Why? Your word is helium. Helium. Am I pronouncing the word correctly? Helium. Yes, the word is helium. Pronunciation, A-OK. -okay. Ooh, helium, huh? Can I have a different word, please? No. What do you think this is? To spell the word helium. I would, but the, the beginning, the heel... How do you spell the heel part? It's like heel, and then Liam. I could spell Liam. I could just heel Liam. All right, let me think. May I have the definition, please? The chemical element of atomic number two, an insert gas that is the lightest member of the noble gas series. Okay, well that didn't help me. You mind telling me the origin, please? Helium. It is modern Latin from Greek. Can you just spell the word for me, please, and just let me walk back to my chair and sit down all quiet-like, please? Sir, excuse me, sir, but if you do not spell this word in the next ten seconds, you will be disqualified. Now just spell the word helium, please. Jeez, you know, who let this kid in here? Helium. H-E-L-I-U-M. Helium. Yay! You got it right. <laughs> and of course, you got to represent the scripts because every year, there's a, one, there's that one kid who says something like, astonishingly. This is a big word, astonishingly. Maybe I should spell that. But no, there's always this one kid who says something wicked funny. And... I start laughing, and so does the crowd. Like, uh, there was this one year, this kid said, does it have any large talents? Mocking Napoleon Dynamite. And that was definitely by far my favorite any kid has said. And of course, a few years ago, the kid fainting. That was pretty hilarious. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I watched Script Spelling Bee is for the funny kid. Because there's always one. So yeah, watch it. So annoying. I always cut out half my freaking head. Sorry, I will get better at this logging thing. I will, trust me. I'm probably doing it right now. I'm a noob. Did did did, did you did you did you did you see that? Did you did you see what I just did there? I said I'm a noob and I was missing half my head. Actually it was more than half. But yes, I'm a noob. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, because I'm not a good vlogger. Sometimes daytime, sometimes daytime TV can be really awesome in the hospital. Right now, oh yeah, MTV2 is where it's at. Watching a 90s classic, Boy Meets World. Can't get any better than that, son. Mm -mm. I just tweeted the same thing, so yeah. Follow me. I spat everywhere, that was gross. Follow me on the Twits. At I will fight on. You will not regret it.
I, it's about time I changed out of those lame pajamas. You know, I figured I could pull it off. I'm in the hospital. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I figured I could do it. I could wear pajamas for once. I barely ever, ever, not even at home. So I was like, hospital. I need to. I, I could be comfy all day. Sit in bed all day. Sit in this lame bed all day. But no, it was just ugh, so annoying. Who could? I. I'm not the person who could just sit around in their pajamas all day. No. That was just throwing me off. I need my shorts, and that's how I'm comfy. It's typical me in shorts, not pajamas. Yes, I said pajamas. Yeah, you caught that right. Pajamas, damn straight. Mm. You know, sorry about the the backlighting as well. Like sometimes it's bright, sometimes I have a dark face. You know, I'm a different ethnicity. But um, yeah, I'm still getting used to the backlighting as a newbie vlogger. So. Yeah, give me a break. Uh, it will get better. I will stop filming with the outside to my back as it is not now because then I'll be black. Not racist though. I just, yes, this is the correct color. You know what really grinds my gears? It's when you're walking, whether it's in the hallway or outside on the sidewalk or somewhere where it's enclosed and it's just a small space to walk like and the person behind you is walking so incredibly fast obviously they have a place to be don't walk on my ass just go around it's not that hard just go around just go around and you know what grinds my gears is when someone made a Twitter because they thought they were being all cool and such. Ooh, I made a Twitter. Yippee, I'm with the cool kids now on Twitter instead of Facebook. Right? They make a Twitter, use it for about three and a half days, and then stop. And then, after a while of not going on, they have spammers attack their page and send direct messages of spam straight to your inbox. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So guess what? I unfollowed your ass, son. Use Twitter or don't use it. Don't not use it. Okay? Get it through your head. Yes, son. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. And peace out.